after saying in this video that when we're emulating film grain it's a good idea to keep the size and the amount pretty close together i got a question asking how far apart is okay to pull those sliders and because i don't have an exact answer let's try and figure it out together and in Lightroom, I have this self-portrait and I'm gonna zoom in pretty close so we can actually start seeing the grain. I'm gonna start by pushing the grain really high to something like 70, but when we zoom in, because the size is still pretty small, we can see that there are details under the grain overlay which are smaller than a particle of grain. And that's exactly why I said that we should probably push the size as well, because as you can see, when I increase the size of the grain, we're starting to lose details underneath the grain. On the other side, if we add just a bit of grain, but we increase the size, we can start to see that we're just losing details. And the effect is something similar to a bit of blur added to the photo. And we can probably use this creatively, but if you want to actually simulate grain, I would say that keeping both of the sliders somewhere between 30 and 60 is the best bet. This will most likely keep you in the safe territory, but what I really like to do is make sure that the amount slider is pretty low and close to the size, probably not more than 20 points, but overall the photo looks like it could use a bit more grain. And afterwards I'm using my mask to add more grain because grain added in a mass looks a bit different and it looks more like an overlay instead of actual mixing them together like Lightroom does in the grain panel. And if you want to learn why I enabled four masks instead of just one, you should probably watch the original video where I explain my method of adding different amounts of grain to the highlights, midtones and shadows and also messing around with the sharpness to get a more realistic film emulation. But going back to the original question, I wouldn't pull those two sliders at more than 30 points apart from each other. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments down below and I'll try to make a video explaining my methods.